Okay. This is a dandy question that needs some good advising, and thankfully, that's what we're here for. This question... Now, this one's fun. It doesn't have a title. It only has context. <laughs> okay. And it says... Who's it by? Yeah, well, I'll get to it. It says... Oh, sure. It's late at night. I'm in my pajamas, all ready for bed. I just brushed my teeth. I start to fall asleep, and it hits me. I need food. I'm mm. starving. But yes. I just brushed. Do I go through the tedious process of brushing again just to eat? Or do I power through the night and reward myself in the morning? Mm. That's from user Sleep Muncher. Mm, speak the truth, girl. All right. This is good. <laughs> this is very important. Um, I, I have so many ways that I could tackle this in my, in my struggles with the exact same stuff. Not really with the pajamas. More just with the teeth brushing. That is the... That is the beef of this question, ain't it? Yeah, no, so relatability level is a 10 out of 10 for me with this question. Every single time, every single time I brush my teeth, I think, boy, I really could eat right about now. Now is the time for the McChicken I've been saving. There's there's a good amount of time that, like, right before I'm about to put that toothbrush on my teeth, I think... I could, I could instead eat first, right? And then I think, but I'm so close to brushing my teeth. Will I even have the willpower to pick the toothbrush up again if I leave it now and go eat instead? Yeah, isn't it just so relatable and fun and just like so us as young adults that we can like do whatever we want even after we brushed our teeth? Oh man, isn't it just the most rebellious thing you'd ever done heard of? Isn't it just so fun? Freeing. To to brush your teeth and then say, I'm going to stick it to the man, the man being my teeth, and say, I know I just cleaned you. Let's put some leftover ribs on, on those babies, on those chompers. Huh? And yeah. you know what? You know what? I already done brushed my teeth. I'm not going to go back and do it a second time. That's I know too society. Soon. Yeah, I know society desperately wants me to brush my teeth mm -hmm. and then go straight to bed and wait until the morning. Mm -hmm. But no, mm -hmm. no, no! I've hit the age of being my own self. Uh, mom and dad are too far away, or they are sleeping because I stay up longer than they do nowadays, and I can sneak on down the stairs, take the ribs we had from Fourth of July that nobody has touched in two weeks now, and <laughs> we can have ourselves a a good pig down on those ribs at 10 30 p.m good good pig down is the type of stuff that i'm aiming for on this question that i do will not be our title no it's not i hope it's not <laughs> <laughs> since i control that i will make sure it's not <laughs> i <laughs> love the thought of this person saying that they want to reward themselves in the morning because they waited the whole night you're not gonna sleep if you want to eat right now I, I know this from experience if you want food now whole night you're just going to be thinking, well, now I'm in bed and it's even harder for me to deal with the fact that I, I want food more, but I'm in a harder situation to get out of because I'm now comfortable and the lights are off and I'm a little tired and, and now is the worst time for me to say I should get out of all of this mess and dig into some, some meaty bones. Uh, and now, <laughs> now you're going to run downstairs you're going to run downstairs and you're going to feel a little bit of guilt because you just you ruined something. Either it was your comfort or your hygiene or something. Something's gone now because you're you're having a full on picnic in the middle of your your kitchen and you're you're ch just chomping on corn and, and beef and buns and all these and all these do hot doggies and whatnot. And you're thinking to yourself, you're thinking to yourself, what have I done? But at the same time, you're saying this is what needed to happen, right? Yeah. Now, Zane, are you the kind of person who sleeps better or worse after eating right before sleeping? Phenomenally better. Really? Without it, miles better. Miles better. Yes. I, I mentioned it because I, act, I cannot sleep if I haven't. Like, if I'm hungry, I have to eat. And that's why I'm usually up until, like, 2 or 3. Because I, like... Because you're in a constant state of eating and trying to sleep and realizing you can eat more and having a full pizza by your bed. <laughs> I always carry I, I always carry around my uh, my emergency kit pizza, which is just yeah. I have my I have my band aids and then the band aids that aren't the sticky band aids, but the ones that are like gauze 
and then I end on my pizza. And that's it. That's all next to my bed, just in case. Yeah, you just got an easy bake oven that'll fit one slice inside the little... That's a microwave. Do you know that? That's a microwave. Did you know that an easy bake oven is not a microwave? In fact, it's actually... It's one light bulb, and, and it's awful that some company tricked children Wait, it's just a light bulb it's, it's legitimately just a light bulb and i want you to know this it's awful that some company tricked parents into what <sighs> in their kids begging for this easy bake oven where they get like this weird concoction thing that was specifically made by the easy bake oven people oh it's no like, those were delicious it'll make you a cake right whatnot. now but, I love hey, them. but it's like you put this in there for a minute and then it comes out and you can you can eat it or whatnot it's like honey you just put it under a light bulb for a minute that is raw that <laughs> <laughs> is it a light bulb? It is. I always thought they. I always thought they reinvented the microwave and they were duping us that way. But turns out it's a little bit worse with the Easy Bake Oven light bulb technique. It, it, ain't it just a better name? I want to get a light. Actually, I should. I, I was about to say I need to get a light bulb that's strong enough to make myself a ki- like a a, a a mug brownie or something. But the one that's Ooh. on my desk currently definitely can do that. It was fifteen dollars at Target. And it gave me a USB slot and, a, and an outlet <laughs> and a bunch of places to hold my, my pens and pencils. And, <laughs> but, man, the heat output on this thing is just nasty here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you. It's, sk- it's an all-in-one so all lamp I, going I, on right now. I will close the door and leave this on, and I will come back, and the room is 10 degrees hotter. That is now. That's the quality that you look for in a lamp. Sometimes I have to put on like a glove or something to turn it back off because the top part where I twist is so hot that I can't touch it. Well, see, that's now that's where that's you what need you to, need. That's yes. what, all I'm saying is that's what you need. If you need oven mitts to turn off the light, you might as well use the oven mitts for a different thing as well, and that's whatever you're cooking in your uh, now universal easy bake oven, otherwise known gonna, as yeah. heat. I think you should. What you should do is get this lamp in your room. It has an extendable head, like the like the Pixar guy, like the, oh, the Pixar like that, guy who jumps on the eye. The murderer. You yes, know that guy. I know what you're talking okay. about. Okay, let's not be so. It's it's an eye. It can it can do it. It can it's do it. It's not an so, eye. It killed the eye. It killed the eye. No, I know. Place. It killed. The, and I'm, it killed an eye. It's it's not murder. It's an eye for an eye. Now the whole world is blind. Will. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> you get one of these. You just you just stick it down so the light bulb points right at the ground. It actually creates like this nice little cone thing that will cover your food and it has little vents off the top even. You just t- take your slice of pizza and you just put it right underneath this lamp here, mm. right beside your bed, mm-hmm. and you have your snacky snack from the comfort of your bed. I'm going to take this question even further off the rails, and I'm just going to go off of what you just said. And I We're have directly a, on the rails. Thank I you. I have an important, I have an important theory here uh, from this stop uh, on the uh, on the brain train on this on this train of thought. Um, if you put an oven in a car, <laughs> and you. <laughs> Uh, so if we're if we're talking about oh pizza you put that under the lamp cool it keeps it warm whatnot i'm thinking well why don't we just keep why don't we just find a way that keeps it fresh hot and fresh until it gets to your house what if there's an oven that they make sure like they make the whole pizza at the pizza place then they put in the oven they say all right driver you have exactly 40 minutes to get to your assigned destination now because you you have to get there, and then as soon as you get there, you gotta get the pizza out of the oven. Then you gotta cut it for them. Then you gotta box it. Then you take it right to the door, and you say, "This is fresh out of the oven." That's not even a saying. There's an oven in the back of my car. It, this is right out of that oven. You're also, welcome. I forgot my mitts. It's burning my hands. The cheese is melting holes through my skin. Please, Please take, take it. this from Please me. Take it. Do you have a piece of cardboard? <laughs> yeah. Do you have anything? A spatula. That's the one thing that you like. Every time they show up, you have to be ready with a just like a slate of cardboard so that they can plop the burning pizza onto. Yeah, and they have to keep. They have to make it. Ah. They have to drive circles around downtown, even though you're four minutes away. They have to drive around for forty minutes. They have to arrive at your home, and then they have to take it out immediately before it burns. And if you don't like answer the doorbell or something, I I don't know what happens to your pizza. This seems like a much more efficient way to do this. Yes. I think we solved, we totally answered your question for I think, sure with that. I think I've got a way to wrap it around. 
And by that, I mean, I'm really just going to run with whatever my brain makes you up don't on this have spot. To. Let's ready, okay. set, go. All right. So now we're talking about the idea of easy bake ovens, something that gets your food done quick and efficiently, and also ovens in the back of cars so that you can make more complicated food that takes longer to prepare. But at the same time, due to the travel that comes along with it, it's efficient in its own way. So if we're talking about efficiency of food right now, it's less efficient for you to wait until the morning when your food is theoretically less fresh, less enjoyable. So it depends on what you just made. Did you make a pizza and then you put the rest in the, in the fridge for the morning, but you realized you want some now? So have some now while it's still kind of fresh and not leftover feeling. Or is this, is this leftovers like Will had said with the 4th of July stuff from like weeks ago, and it's gonna be the same amount of freshness tomorrow and you could just wait until the morning and it all comes down to kind of how much you're going to devour in the night but really i think if you're if you're asking the question to the internet like it's not just a thought to yourself that brushes over you if you're asking the question to the internet it's that important to you please just eat and then and then you'll have eaten and it'll all be over it's, the, it's that easy. hey folks if you're wondering what that weird cutting noise that was uh me breaking into the editing room in geneva and cutting out the three minutes of zane just just talking into an empty void um but we're back and we're here with another question i have one for you zane you ready oh yes 